Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Dave Vaughn. I'm covering um, W King and Queen of the Ring, which has transpired on um, May 25th, 2024. This past following Saturday, I was able, actually able to catch it. I've been having a lot of things going on in the household as I'm preparing to have a new addition to the house. But I appreciate you guys still continue to be under the lines of pretty much being a great support and being there in, in the most passionate way possible. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into this Rex review. As we have four title matches on the card, we have the undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rose taking on Logan Paul, the United States Champion. We also had a triple threat match of Sami Zayn taking on Big Bronson Reed and Chad Gable, which truly was a true deliverance match. We also have Becky Lynch, the WWE World Women's Champion, taking on Liv Morgan. We also had WWE Tag Team Championship action of the women's division as Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair, the ESTs of WWE, taking on Candice LeRae and Andy Hartwell. As well, we have the finals of the King and Queen tournament as we had Gunther taking on Randy Orton. We also had Lyra Valkyria taking on Nia Jax. And this car really was everything that you truly can ask for. I had a great time watching everything from each match it truly was a true deliverance and i had a great time watching the whole entire showcase for actual for the king and queen tournament but let's go ahead and get into the swing of things as we get ready for the first match of the night it was the WWE women's tag team championship match it was the ests of wwe bianca belair and jay cargill taking on candice LeRae and indy hartwell which is the way and these ladies went back and forth, could have anything under the sun, a lot of transitional moves, tag team moves, a lot of chain wrestling. It was a great tag team um, maneuvers when it came to the ESTs of WWE. They delivered in the most passionate way. I enjoyed everything that they actually delivered. And then the conclusion match happened when it came to them doing a nice double combination set up between Bianca and Jay Cargill of setting up what looked like some kind of little code breaker into a German suplex to be able to pick up the victory and it was a great feat by seeing those ladies getting things to the nitty gritty and it wasn't everything that you could have asked for it was slow pace starting out but it still delivered when it came to women's tag team action just in general but the crowd was red hot when it came to the chemistry of everything that went on and you got everything that you truly could have asked for when it came to um, these ladies pretty much putting everything on the line and they really delivered in a most interesting way as well for my own personal take then we got ready for the next follow match which is becky lynch taking on Liv morgan for the WWE women's world heavyweight championship this feud has been going on for quite some time now but it really was a true balance when it came to everything initially had been going on and you truly knew you was gonna get your money's worth when it came to these ladies just in general um it was a lot of intertwined things that pretty much transpired we had dominic mysterio getting involved as well as all the different things pretty much happening within the lines of everything then we had an interference by dominic mysterio who executed by sliding a chair directly in the ring which Liv morgan took advantage of that and was able to hit a face bus with ddt after becky lynch was trying to go for the chair and then she got caught by the bolivian as Liv morgan hit the one two three and was able to capture the WWE Women's World um, Heavyweight Championship for the women's division. This match was an excellent showcase. It really showed the things under the sun of where Dominic may stand. But as well, you got a nice little showcase between these ladies. These ladies won a total of 20 minutes. And you know you was going to get a decent match just from them, just in general. Um, overall, I'll give it an A+. Plus, and overall, it was a 4 out of 5. And you know you're going to get your money's worth when it came to this lady. The angle really fits for what it does. As well as having Dominic Mysterio being put into the implements of things. And it really just really was really great. Just from my own personal take. Then we got ready for the next match. was the big boys on the field. The WWE Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn taking on Chad Gable and Big Bronson Reed. I feel like these fellas really put on a banger. The crowd was red hot for Sami Zayn, but overall, they did a phenomenal job, just from my own personal opinion, and I really enjoyed everything that really was showcased, including Chad Gable being the MVP of this whole thing, hitting a, 
our coll super collider German suplex or so German suplex in both guys. Things really broke down when Otis was getting implemented and got involved. But things really broke down when Otis was about to set up for a clothesline, but he was trying to decide which way to go. Chad Gable was trying to get the rest of the Alpha Academy to be involved and interfere, but they refused. And then when the underlying things happened, when the transition of that match happened, when Chad Gable picked up Sammy Zayn and was telling Otis to clothesline him, things broke down when Sammy ducked and completely obliterated Chad Gable and knocking him out unconscious as Sami Zayn looked on, as Otis looked shocked as well. And then afterwards, um, Sami Zayn rolled back in the ring, took advantage of a fallen Bronson Reed and hit that beautiful Haluva kick to pick the victory for one, two, three. And that was a great match when it came to the storyline continued to be pushed out as big Bronson Reed is looking to get a vengeance as well as where Chad Gable has been doing a phenomenal job as being a pristine heel. You're really getting everything that you truly can ask for when it comes to Big Bronson Reed as well as Chad Gable. Um, but Sami Zayn continue to be the MVP of the whole entire night, continue to deliver each and every single match. And you're truly getting your money's worth when it comes to Sami just in general. Then we got ready for the next final match, which was the women's division, Lyra Valkyria versus Nia Jax. This match was a straightforward smash mouth David Goliath style match. Nia controlled majority of the match by using her broad body and strength. But Lyra pretty much held her own as being a newcomer on the Raw brand. But she pretty much did not give up whatsoever. She was pushing everything. She was putting everything that she possibly could when it came to everything that she happened, including her transitional moves and pretty much taking Nia off her feet. But pretty much Nia was too much to handle when Lyra was trying to set up for a power bomb, but got caught by the Nia later. And Nia was able to take advantage of that and put her down for the pinfall for the one, two, three, and basically become the inaugural queen of the ring as she took advantage of that. And it was a beautiful seat by seeing Nia Jax picking off a beautiful win in the most passionate way. As well as we had Triple H come down and do the whole thing of um, presenting her with the queen's crown and pretty much pointing the finger. And pretty much the crowd was red hot for Triple H for coming out there. And you knew we was in a new era when it comes to the new WWE just in general. Then we got ready for the men's qualifying, the finals, which is Randy Orton taking on Gunther. This match was smash mouth for everything from start to finish. You got everything what you truly could ask for. This match was hard hitting. It was precise. Gunther was turning Randy's um, chest into a meat cleaver. And pretty much he was chopping away from one end to the next end. But it came off with a little bit of controversy at the end when it came to everything initially transpired. As Gunther took advantage of things of targeting Randy Orton's knee, but came off with a nice roll up. But of course, his shoulder was up when the referee count the three fall, what made it into controversy. But we're looking to see how things may transpire in the future. But of course, the fans were still chanting for Randy. But we shall see how things officially fire. But Gunther is initially the inaugural men's king of the ring. And of course, he set his sights out for. Um, your respective championship as he's looking to go for the world heavyweight championship i would have loved to see him to go for the we championship but we know they're not taking the championship for cody whatsoever when it comes to the gold just in general as well i forgot to mention that naya um went to go for the we um women's championship when it came to her initial pick so she's going to be on the smackdown brand and she decided to go directly for Bailey, so we shall see how things initially transpire as well with that. But it's a nice setup as both the men's and the women's um, winners will be getting their prospective championship challenge at SummerSlam. And of course, SummerSlam is going to be a two night travaganza, and you know you're going to get your money's worth when it comes to both nights for that Saturday and Sunday as they're looking to make it expanded a little bit more. But hopefully we have shorter matches, but actually just longer storyline build up. And I look forward to seeing how SummerSlam may be in Cleveland. As you know, Cleveland's going to be red hot. And if any of you guys are going to get tickets, I highly recommend for you to go check it out and go see SummerSlam and book it. And I know you're going to have a 100% a great time just from my own personal opinion. 
Then we got ready for the main event of the night. It was American Nightmare Cody Rose taking on the Prodigy, the Maverick, Logan Paul. This match was everything you truly could have asked for. A whole lot of deliverance when it came to matches of transitional moves, chain wrestling, prop spots. It was a nice spot what they did with the key point was when they, Logan Paul did a was going for the frog splash on the outside and they had a, dr and a drone spot going around him and then dropped that nice lovely frog splash. I love when WWE's going with the new angle spots and you really are loving everything how everything has truly has been turning out. But the conclusion happened as Cody was able to pick up off Pick the pieces of everything was able to conclude by hitting a crossroads and was able to pick off this victory in a really great way. And Cody Rhodes was able to seal the victory. But don't take away from Logan Paul. Logan Paul gave Cody Rhodes a run for his money when it came to everything that initially happened. And this match was great. I give true effort to Logan Paul for sticking in there. He gave everything that he initially could. But I give this match probably basically a 4.5 out of 5. It really delivered in the most passionate way. The crowd was a uh, big opponent to everything. They were highly anticipated when it came to everything to see transpire. The energy was just there throughout the whole entire match. Um, of course, everything that happened when it came to everybody that wasn't being involved, including the, the ringside involvement and everything that actually happened. But of course, this match was evolved around around brass knuckles, but. Things took a, took, took a twist of things, and it was nice delivering when it came to this main event. But overall, it was a decent show. I give it a 3.5 out of 5, but I enjoyed myself still enjoying the king and the queen of the ring. And I look forward to seeing how the storyline continued to progress this following week on when it came to Monday Night Raw, as well as seeing how things may be pushed as well for Friday Night SmackDown. But overall, I appreciate you guys coming out to show your love and support and coming through on a, on this actual review. Post your comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, you guys be safe. Peace.